dear friends this is dr mohammad amirul islam welcome to my channel in in my previous videos i explained that isotherm and pore size distribution these videos have been very popular therefore in this video i would like to show you how to identify bad surface area that adsorption desorption isotherm curve and pore size distribution curve many of my viewers asked me how to find out adsorption desorption curve pore size distribution from bad results so this video is very important so please do not miss so this is the report excel sheet report for bat isotherm almost all bat isotherm products uh, result is produced like this excel report so these are the uh, experimental conditions it is written experimental conditions now there are two bat surface area this is one is single point surface area and this is bad surface area usually we report this as bad surface area so this is our bad surface area then comes pore volume so we get two types of pore volume one is broner m dz is uh, adsorption pore volume and desorption pore volume so this is uh, our single point pore volume this is dz is adsorption pore volume and dz is desorption pore volume the most important thing is our pore size we report average pore size we report in our manuscript average pore size this is 14.53 so three things number one is bad surface area is this pore volume is this single point and pore size is average pore volume these three things are recorded in taxonomic property or bad surface area description then comes isotherm plot isotherm table are good this is not included what we report is isotherm linear plot this is our important for example the relative pressure this is this is relative pressure this is uh, p by p not and quantity adsorption this is for adsorption and this is for desorption so if you plot adsorption and desorption i should have plot in origin pro or excel sheet you will get this relative pressure p by p not versus quantity adsorption in the group by gram st this is the for adsorption and desorption this is called adsorption desorption isotherm then comes pore size distribution this is very important so this is not our pore size distribution is this is also not pore width average pore volume this is also not this is important is is adsorption differential pore volume and this one is important for us differential this is dz is adsorption db by d log w pore volume which is this is for
for adsorption dj is adsorption differential portfolio this is for adsorption dj is adsorption and uh, uh, this is for desorption dj is desorption differential portfolio and this is for diameter or pore width and differential pore velocity with a two graph. So if you plot adsorption and desorption differential pore volume, you will get this pore diameter versus dv by d log d pore volume centimeter into per gram. So for uh, desorption the for adsorption it is centered at 40 uh, 45 nanometer and in case of desorption the average uh, uh, pore diameter centered at nearly 30 nanometer so you have to report this for uh, in case of adsorption and desorption so this is how we can easily uh, identify our wet surface area, average pore volume, average pore diameter, adsorption and desorption isotherm curve, and differential pore volume for DJ is adsorption and desorption. So that's for today. Thanks for watching. Please do visit Amazon Cat Innovation, like, comment, and share for more videos.